Well, four years of planning and construction, and the day has come. One of the most cutting edge and unique research facilities in the world has opened its doors here in Madison. News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us live from the Wisconsin Institutes for Discovery with an inside look at this amazing facility. Mark? Yeah, Eric, just looking around, you can sense that this is just an amazing building and opened up to the public officially at noon today. And what's likely to be even more amazing will be the research and the discoveries that come out of it. A lot of people have worked very hard for this day to happen. Welcome to the brand new $205 million Wisconsin Institutes for Discovery. It was designed and built around one word collaboration. It's very exciting. There's going to be breakthroughs from unanticipated uh, combinations of uh, people from many different backgrounds. Sang Kim will be a pharmaceutical researcher in this building and what will come out of it, he says, will change the world of scientific research. It's really an, an architectural marvel to facilitate collaboration across disciplinary boundaries uh, and bring people from many different corners of the scientific universe and have them collaborate on the great challenges. That's the main idea, which some say makes this facility one of a kind in the world. Lab and research space is cutting edge, and scientists can mingle and share ideas. It's also a building that's very inviting for everyone. We want to make science accessible, exciting, and relevant so that all the younger generation who comes in here knows that science plays a big role in life in improving human health and discovering things. Public involvement is another important value behind this facility's objective. It's why so many people are excited that this public-private venture is finally a reality. This corner, which has been such a center of the University of Wisconsin campus over so many generations, now will be a center for the world for generations to come. As we mentioned, this is a public-private venture. Part of this facility is the UW's Wisconsin Institute for the Discovery, and the other part of this facility is the private Morgridge Institute for Research. That, of course, is named after John and Tasha Morgridge, UW graduates who donated $50 million to help make this facility, Eric, a possibility. News 3's Mark Lovacott reporting from the heart of the UW campus tonight. Mark, thank you very much. You Not everybody was happy, though, with the Institute for Discovery's opening. Two times, groups of protesters interrupted the opening ceremonies. The group protesting the privatization of food service at the Institute. The new research facility is a public-private entity, and the protesters want to bring better benefits to the employees there. Because we want those people to be public employees, to be paid a fair wage, to have some benefits to go with it as well. And with this happening here, it's just the beginning. And we feel that if they continue to privatize certain buildings here on campus, because that's how it seems to be going now, that they will try and privatize all the jobs as well. Protesters also ended up delaying the start of the Institutes for Discovery events this afternoon.